the Sofitel Hotel. It's very, very big. Not in a wheelchair accessible one this time. Um, there's a scanning thing for the door. Thing for the lights. They only had a king size bed for um, accessible rooms, which they very kindly offered to upgrade for us. Coffee and tea. Um, but I prefer to have two beds rather than accessibility because it's only for one night. Although they do seem to have an accessible um, shower here, but there's no seat. However, nice bathroom, nice amenities. It's all clean, looks good. Ooh, a robe and slippers. Very smart. Just one robe though. Um, the beds are very high, but Bethany is able to get on them um, by sort of flinging herself onto them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it's a decent sized room. We're able to get her wheelchair in here. Nice chair. Swivels though, so not very stable for people with disabilities, but looks really nice. We just arrived. Check-in was supposed to be three. They let us in early. It's only 12.59 now, so we just got here. Huge place, four floors. We're on the first floor, and apparently it's a five to ten minute walk to the train station. No, not the train station. To the airport. The terminal 5 that we want to go to so we're going to try that in a bit and just see how long it takes and see if there's there is a restaurant here but it's going to be more expensive so we're going to have a look at terminal 5 and just see if there's something to eat there for today but uh yeah so far so good it's uh certainly very impressive looking <laughs> 